Good afternoon from Mexico. So a question that's been coming up a lot since we announced the pregnancy is, will I be having the baby here in Mexico or will I be returning to the United States to give birth? So I thought I would make a video and cover it. If you've been following us for a while, you know that our oldest son, Diego, was born in the United States and our youngest, Dominic, was born here in Mexico. And there is a video on our YouTube channel where I talk about the births and kind of what the differences were between them. But the new baby will be born here in Mexico. And the biggest reason for that is so that Fidel can be there for the birth. He didn't miss Diego's birth. He didn't miss Dominic's birth. He was in the room with me for both. And he plans on being in the room with me for this baby. Another thing that I've seen come up, and I think why a lot of people have asked is because they're confused as to what happens with the baby's citizenship if they're born here in Mexico and not in the United States. Just like Diego and Dominic, the baby will also have dual citizenship. Now, because the baby will be born here in Mexico, they'll automatically obtain citizenship here in Mexico. Obtaining their US citizenship is kind of a process, but I will make sure to make a detailed video for you guys when we start preparing for that. So in order to get the baby US citizenship, we do have to go through an appointment at the US Embassy. It's like um, an interview. It's at the one that's closest to you. For us, that's Mexico City. And you have to provide basically a bunch of documentation. It requires a couple different things. You have to have like physical, proof of physical presence in the US. Two um, of the, I think it's like five years that you have to show. Two of those five years has to be after the age of 14. So in my case with Dominic, I provided things like my elementary school records, my college transcripts, my taxes, things like that. So you also have to provide things like photos of you during the pregnancy, your medical records throughout your pregnancy. Um, they asked for date stamped photos um, around the time of conception, uh, just different things like that. Now, I can't stress this enough. It is different, every case is different. So they can ask you for different things. But if you call the embassy, they will let you know what you need to bring to your appointment. But once that process is done, just like in Dominic's case, and they're approved, Dominic has a US birth certificate. It's a CRBA. So it does state that he was born outside of the United States, but is a US citizen. And then you can also go back to the embassy to do like their social security card and things like that. So it's honestly a pretty easy process. You just need to get a bunch of documentation together and go to the interview. So all of that to say, yes, the baby will be born here in Mexico. Yes, the baby will have dual citizenship, just like Diego and Dominic both do. But if you have specific questions, or you're going through the process or anything like that, anything that I can help you with or direct you to where to find those answers, you can always send me an email and that email is linked in my bio. Have a good day, everyone.